and we're back with Gerardo. Is that okay? Hi, it. Poppy. I'm trying to get Spanish over here, <laughs> and you've got your screen name so we can find you on Instagram. Um, so if you guys have been living under a rock, he does 90s, 2000 R&B, different kind of mashups with metal riffs, and it's badass. What made you start this and get into this? Um, I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to do it. I've had that vision in my head for a long time, and my favorite band of all time, Issues, kind of did that, like with their own music. And uh, since they broke up, I've been... Uh, very distraught about it so i had to bring that style back <laughs> well i'm glad you're doing it and name you're in like more than one band you're in several bands what are the name of your bands so that's a perfect segue yeah i'm in uh technically four bands three of them are playing tonight at the same place i'm playing with all three in one show what? so um that's gonna be fun i'm in unlikely they're like an indie math rock kind of band i'm in a band called farouk which is like a hardcore band and then my own band hyacinth which is like i don't know just everything under the sun wow you've got three bands you're playing in tonight i can't imagine yeah. i'm hosting that's it and dancing but i i'm not in the five bands performing now i can't outdo you you're <laughs> winning at tonight's performance um so obviously too you've got swag you've got major sex appeal going on when you're playing the guitar you know and you're going live like it, was that all part of the plan or that just happened naturally? No, nah, I didn't uh, think about that when I started doing it. <laughs> no, you got it the just... shorts with the tattoos showing and you, you've got all these sexy songs. You've got the loosen up my buttons is the first one I came across on TikTok. And then you're just like playing a metal guitar. And I'm like, dude, this guy is way too hot. You need to be <laughs> chained up somewhere. Like, that's crazy. I'm down. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, I mean, yeah, it just kind of happened. I started doing them, and then I noticed, like, that kind of attention. And I figured... The DMs are popping? Are the DMs just cracking? They're pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. crazy. <laughs> Do you get any just, like, boobs, like, straight up? Oh, just like Yeah, for sure. Dude, man, and, I love that. And sometimes it's, like, even crazier stuff than that. So... I, that You're blessed, you know? I mean, I'm not complaining. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't complain. It'll go away one day. I get dick pics and I'm like, good morning. This is a great way to open my inbox. I love it. So, um, okay. And then I saw recently you did some Backstreet Boys and now some NSYNC. So now you're doing a little bit more boy bands with the metal riffs. Oh, yeah. And I that I grew up with boy bands. Like that's what I like. My first memories of being a human being are watching MTV or my mom playing NSYNC and like boys to men. I mean, I don't know if Bush is my boy band, but you know, that, that kind of music and Backstreet Boys is like my favorite one. So I was like, I already had the NSYNC cover like prepared and done, but I was like, it would be kind of blasphemous of me being such a big Backstreet fan to do NSYNC first. So I had to get Backstreet first and then NSYNC. Oh, so we know where you stand in the boy oh, band yeah. fight. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Team Backstreet. Backstreet. You know, it was hard. I had a crush on Howie and Backstreet, but I'd say music wise NSYNC. I like liked their music a little bit more. And then why then I ended up dating someone from Instinct later that just, you know, you did happened. Yeah. Yeah. Joey Fatone though. The the one that I was <laughs> I was going for JC, but I'll take what I could get. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so I saw too recently that Fender sent you guitars. How did that come about? Yeah, that was a trip. Um shout out my homie Gabe. But he hit me up. He was like, yo, I saw like your reggaeton metal covers. And he's like, I've never seen anyone do that. Like, I really like your style. I would like to send you some stuff that you could promote for us. And then, like, you know, we could help each other out. And, um, yeah, it was a trip. I always wanted to have some sort of, like, not sponsor or be endorsed or whatever, just but work with a, a guitar company of any kind. And I always thought it would be, like, a more metal-based, you know, because that's kind of what I do. But when Fender hit me up, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, sure. That's legit. <laughs> So, that is really cool. Yeah, they sent me literally like my dream instruments, like a Telecaster and a jazz bass. And yeah, I don't know. It's still the trip. A lot of the things that have been happening lately, just like, I don't I don't get it. You're just blowing up. You're going to have like 90 bands soon and more titty pigs than the DMs. It's just happening. <laughs> Do you have a favorite guitar, like your dream guitar to have or to play? I mean, it was the one I got from them. I've always wanted that sort of Telecaster because when I started playing guitar, 
a big band that got me into it was a lot like birds and i remember watching them and the guy had one of those and i think that's how i became enamored with it so it is definitely the telecaster now that i have it maybe i'll move on to my other one which is like a kiesel guitar and like a seven string i don't know I how just... expensive is that what does that run oh the kiesels are like i mean the one i want because it's custom probably like four to three grand dang yeah that could be a car from the 90s that's no, crazy literally yeah that's well that's cool um i also saw you met the home team i'm I, I love the home team how did you meet them or like did you open for them or what happened there yeah so that's what's really cool about that is we played with them high since did in october of 2021 when like everything started to open up again and uh it was right i think right before or after they released their album slow bloom so they played around where we played and yeah we got to open one we got to meet them they're amazing now they're like really blown up which yeah because those guys deserve it they're yeah their music is fucking awesome so i'm like super stoked for them yeah it takes one hit and all the shares and then all of a sudden it's like psh, i don't know um do you have a favorite metal riff cover that you've done <laughs> it's every time i write one i'm like this one's my favorite or like yeah the one but the ones that stick out are i did usher confessions part two and i did that one the day after i did the first one like i saw that it was going crazy and i didn't sleep so then i just stayed up for like five hours and like <laughs> wrote that one. Oh my god so that one and then i really like oh man I really like the one I did for Pony. I think that one was pretty sexy. Yeah, I love yeah. that song. I mean, and I love all the different versions and when rock bands, you know, mix it up. But those lyrics, so that the Pony song is so freaking hot. It's it just, is. you know, but adding metal to it makes it even hotter. I agree. So probably that one. And yeah, probably just those two. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Every time I write them, I'm like, damn. And I take out the vocals and I just listen to what I wrote. I'm like, this is sick. I should use this. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a musician that got you started in music or inspired you? Um, I mean, I grew up in Mexico. I was born in Mexico. Oh, wow. So, so the first kind of musician that I saw, like, personally do it was my uncle, uh, Mateo Pancho. He's, like, an amazing guitar player. He can sing. And, like, just being around that, I... I was like, damn, this is kind of what I want to do. But then, you know, growing up and like um, starting to listen to metal, the guy who did it for me, like we talked about before, was Joey. Joey yeah, Joey. that's cool. And I saw you yeah. drum. You drum too. Yeah, I'm primarily a drummer. Like that's how I started playing music because wow. I saw Slipknot and I saw Joey and I was like, that is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I want to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he was pretty cool. He was pretty, I got it. And I, you have a tattoo. I mean, you're, yeah. you're a fan. Right, wait, right there. I feel bad. I should get a tattoo of him. Yeah. I'm, I'm messing up. Well, that's, <laughs> so wait, you do drums and guitar. What else do you do musically? I play bass. I can sing a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to say I'm a good singer when the singer in my band is like amazing. So um, yeah, I could do that. And then what I always tell people I'm best at, at least in my opinion, is writing music. Because I use, I mean, all those instruments like as literal tools just to get my point across, you know? Like, I don't think I'm, like, a crazy good guitar player or, like, an insane drummer, but I can sure put it all together. You're probably great. I think we're always our worst critic, you know? And we don't give ourselves enough credit for how talented we can be. So don't, you know, positive only. You're great. Well, um, would you ever go back Bleach Blonde? Uh Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You would do it again? Or just the tips or the whole thing? I'm sure I'll get mentally ill enough to do the whole thing again. I love that. You know, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to do like the shave the head thing. One of my friends, Amanda, did that four years ago, and I'm just ready to Britney Spears it and try it out. Maybe I, don't know. I did it um, last, like late November. I shaved yeah. my head. I was like, I know I'm gonna look fucking silly, so let's do it. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm like, try it all out. I've done every color. I don't know. I'm bored. Um, so, do you have a favorite city to play in or visit and party in? Um, I know you're in Cali. You're in the armpit of Cali. So you can go yeah. up or down all around or different states. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I mean, 
Or even like a favorite memory, like you played this show in a city and you're like, wow, that was really fun. I think in like 2018, we played Seattle. Wait, no, Portland. We played Portland, Oregon. And at the time I was still, you know, like drinking and smoking and stuff. So that night was really cool. We got to party with a bunch of people we've never met. And just the vibe of that place was like just chill and yeah, like we smoked a ton of weed, like the dispensaries in every corner. Yeah. So I've been high in Portland for sure. It's fun. Uh, it's a fun yeah. city. So, so wait, that's right. You're straight edge. So you used to drink and smoke. What happened? Why did why did you get off the wagon? <laughs> now you're all responsible. Yeah. So it's Too kind of fun? funny. Um when I was a kid, I was really into like pro wrestling. And um okay. There's a guy named CM Punk, and he was straight edge, or he is straight edge. So since I was a kid, I was like, you know what? Like, everything that he says sounds legit, so I'm going to be straight edge. And I had this idea since I was a kid. But, you know, you go to high school, you meet fucking the wrong people, the right people. Yeah. And then um, I started drinking and smoking, and then it got a little too crazy in high school, and then... I would just stop for like months at a time and I was like, all right, I'm a straight, I'm straight edge again, you know, and then just kind of got back into it. But lately the past like two, three years, I just don't see the benefit in it. Um, I'm, I won't judge anyone that does it, but it's just not for me anymore. I think that's cool. I think that's healthy. And, you know, I've taken years off and whatnot and I'm mentally clear. I feel yeah. better, but I like, I like to drink. Um, do you have a celebrity crush? Um, the first one that comes to mind is Jillian Anderson. Okay. From the X Files, because that was like my favorite show. It is my favorite. She's show. old. I know. I'm into that though. I'm super. You like them really old, rugged, worn out. I'm just <laughs> She's not worn out. <laughs> no, no. I'm just kidding. That's. I liked the X Files. I loved. Um, and then California Cation too. Like oh, yeah, I, I'm a big Hank Moody fan. Oh yeah. Okay. Can I do random question time? Yes. Okay. Um, a musical instrument that has the most annoying sound to you. Um, fuck. Uh, the human voice. <laughs> <laughs> so humans are mostly annoying to you. You like them to be quiet and just shut up. Um, I get the worst, like, secondhand embarrassment when someone's really bad at singing. Oh. Like, if I hear someone and they're just bad, like, I, like, want to crawl into my own skin. Like, I feel bad for them, and I feel bad for me, but, yeah. So you can't watch, like, the American Idol um, flops of people that audition and do horribly? Like that yeah, would no, I good. can't. Like, I just, that stuff, just, I can't do it. Okay, I get that. Um, what is, or have you ever gone skinny dipping? Uh, yeah, for sure. You have? Yeah. Under the influence or straight edge? Uh... Probably a little bit of substance abuse, yeah. <laughs> substance abuse. I've definitely abused some substances. Um, <laughs> what is a secret about you that not a lot of people would guess by looking at you? Damn. Um, I mean, I don't make it a secret, but yeah, probably that like I worship boy bands. You, that, think... you did oh. just do Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Um, dogs or cats? Cats. Cats, yeah. Yeah. I like them both. What is your favorite or best pickup line? And, like, have you used it? Oh, shit. See, that's the thing. I don't flirt, necessarily. Like, if I'm ever anywhere and I see, like, an attractive girl or something, I never go up to them because I feel like most girls just feel uncomfortable in situations like that. So I never want to put them in that. Situation. So you just never go. You think someone's hot. You don't go up to them. You don't say anything. Yeah. I'm just like, they're just there. And I'm like, cool. Like, <laughs> How is it ever going to blossom? And like anything going to happen if you don't, you know, I don't know. I just, yeah, it just depends. Like if I'm I feel like if, the younger generation are, are all in the DMS, they're all in the, um, shooting their shot on the internet and not in real life anymore. Like what I grew up with. Right. That's kind of true. I think, yeah, I, I think I've gotten spoiled in a sense where like they hit me up through Instagram or whatever. But even when I was younger and I was a teenager, I think it just depends. Like if you get to know them a little bit, like in school, you know, you'd be in school and college or whatever. And like you're in class with someone 
and you interact a little bit more, then they can kind of like get a feel of your vibe. And they're like, well, this guy's not just some random drunk stranger trying to hit on me and like fuck me, you know? Yeah. But if I'm at a anywhere and I just see a random person that I'm never going to see again, I don't even bother. What? Can I see your nails? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. It's for the hey. show tonight. Yeah, I did it myself. <laughs> you got to come up to Sacramento and play a show and I will come out and see you guys. I am super down. Actually, I think we might with Unlikely in October. I'll keep you posted. Oh, cool. As long as it's not Aftershock. I hope not. That's the only... Um, what day is Aftershock? It's the second weekend of October. I believe the 10th through the 13th. It's gonna no, be I think it'll be after that. So you're good. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, do you have a favorite movie? Oh, shit. Um, it's either... I've never heard of that. It's either The Crow or Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, those are both really good movies. I yeah. really like The Crow, though, a lot. Like, Brandon Lee is so hot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, where's somewhere you still want to travel to that you haven't yet? Um, Europe, for sure. Just anywhere in Europe. Uh, specifically, Latvia, because they have the tallest women in the world. <laughs> so you want to climb a girl? You want to you straight? <laughs> you want a tall woman? You want to be a shorty to her? Oh, well, no, I just, I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm into that. But you like Amazon I, women? Huh? You like Amazon women that are just like super tall? Yeah, I mean, they're hot. <laughs> they're hot. Oh my God. Okay. And then what is like a weird gift that you've given? Like a strange gift? That I've given? Yeah. Um, my attention <laughs> oh so like do you is it hard to get your attention no it's just like i feel like now i'm very i don't know if jaded is the word but mm. just kind of very picky about where i put my energy towards or what i put my energy towards yeah so, and sometimes it's not the best thing for the other party because I'm very distant and I, I suck at replying. If anyone knows me, even my own mother is like, why do you have a phone? You know, so. <laughs> no way. I, and I like, they start, I get to know them and we get kind of close. I feel like it's almost a bad thing for them because then I just keep them waiting all the time. I can't, I hate that. I am an instant replier. Like if I'm on my phone and I see like somebody messaged me, I try to get back to them or else I'm the opposite. I get anxiety about not messaging them back. I'm like, right. oh no, I, I need to answer them. So I feel like that's like a male thing. Like young males are bad at <laughs> responding or they see it and then they put it down and they're like, oh, I'll do it later. Yeah, I, I, just, I have, I've always had notifications off for everything because I know that if they were on and I saw it, I would reply and I would like not do the things I have to do. So it's a priority thing, but I also just fucking suck at it. I feel you. And right now, like I need to rehearse for the show and I've been so active on social media all morning. I'm going to shut this off after I post this and just dedicate myself to dancing. And I, I can't have my phone on because if I hear my phone, I'll stop dancing and I'll run in and check my phone. And I just, Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I feel that. Um, okay. Do you have anything you want to announce or tell us about your solo projects or your bands that's coming up or how to find you? Okay. So on Instagram, it's at Chamuco Musico. Um, on TikTok, it's at Hyacinth Music. That was the name. Oh, that's the name of my band. Um, again, I started that TikTok so everyone in the band could post on it, but only I did. <laughs> and now it's just you. It's now like, it's yeah. But, um, let's see. Music stuff. Well, I guess if you, you're you going to post it today. So if you're in the Central yeah. Valley, um, my Three bands are playing a show. I'm going to be on stage for like an hour and change all together. Overachiever right there. Yeah. You're just, you are the show. And then there's like one other band. Yeah, they're calling it a Gerardo Fest. Because oh my. <laughs> well, go you. That's amazing. I would, yeah, I would tell you to come to my show up to SAC, but you're freaking having your own show. So we're yeah, competing, but we're far enough away. We are not. I would otherwise. Um, let's see what else. Uh you're on TikTok. So are you on YouTube? You're on Instagram, all the things. Yeah. So actually that's uh, a thing. Uh, I I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I might just post it on the one I already have, but I'm going to start doing full versions of the covers because that's everyone's asking for them. 
Yes. And that's where the money's at. Like yeah. YouTube's where's the money. That's, you know, got to get on YouTube. True. And people don't realize that if I posted them on like Spotify or iTunes, I would get copyrighted like super hard mm -hmm. using the original vocal track. So, and that's how I like it. I mean, I will make some, I'm going to do Can We Talk by Tevin Campbell with my band. So we're going to cover it as a whole band. But uh, all the other ones, I'm going to make full versions and put them on YouTube. And then people could just go crazy and listen to them all night. I love it. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to check it out. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day and stopping by Steph's Rock Show podcast. And we will definitely be following you and need to see you live in the near future. For sure. Thank you. It was uh, my pleasure.